too fancy, you just need ketchup, right? Ketchup is actually really sweet. So I've done this a lot of times. I budgeted for 50 grams of ketchup. Let's see if I can get it without looking. Yeah, this much. Alright, 52 exactly. Alright, so right now we're going to build today's meal plan. The goal is to eat anywhere between 2200 or 2300 calories. Um, you know, it says 27 up there, but that's just from last time. I usually don't really change it because I know, I already know my goal for the given week or month. And it's 2200, 2300 because I just came off a, I just lost like, what, the 30 pounds? So I'm going to eat at maintenance, estimated maintenance for about two weeks. And then, you know, see if that's actually my maintenance and then start a slow bulk, maybe 200 calorie surplus. So, um, you know, we'll start off with the lean meat. I mean, it's not super lean, but it's relatively lean because, you know, I can't handle chicken breast anymore at this point. So 10 ounces of that four eggs on top of it, mm. a little bit of olive oil, makes everything taste better, and with that, some rice, this can be adjusted later, if needed, always, honestly this is like a cheat code, cause um, if you eat four scoops of protein powder, you pretty much get 100 grams on any given day. So, um, you know, if you can stomach it, then, you know, it's a really easy way to get your numbers up. So at this point, I already have 183 grams of protein, so that should be enough. I mean, because right now I weigh 185. Uh, let's see. You know, maybe I'll eat more rice. Um, you know, 300 grams. Maybe eat some fried seaweed, roasted seaweed, and the remaining 400, 500 can just be from from snacks pretty much at this point. Like just fill the rest of it with carbs, you know, get the carbs up. Um, maybe some milk. Yeah. Maybe three and a half scoops, because I don't think I need 200 grams of protein. I mean, that should be enough. So just for example, I'll put in... Hmm, hot Cheetos, right? Everyone's favorite. Put in one bag of that. Okay, looks pretty decent. And, um, you know, probably just fill up the rest of the 60 with ketchup. Looks pretty solid. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make some ground beef today, and this is pre. So this is um pre-weighed. So we just get that big thing of ground beef, and I weigh ten ounces each, and then just put into big spheres of meat, and then put in the freezer for storage. And that way, you don't need to weigh it later. And we just finished defrosting it. Pan's already hot. So just a half a tablespoon of olive oil should, you know, make it good. 
Normally, I would fry some diced onions first. You know, so that it tastes a lot better. But right now, I don't have any onions, so it's pretty bare bones as it is right now. surface area out of it. We throw it on the pan. Alright. Right now, I'm defrosting some smashed garlic to add flavor. So if you have ground beef, garlic, salt and black pepper, and that's all you need. Tasting um, really spicy. Now, obviously, there's no onions in here, so again, it's really bare bones. But if it had onions, then it would taste a lot better. Now, hopefully, when I left it flat, it browned a bit. Yeah. eggs like this. It gets pretty soft, but um, 
it kind of eats up all the oil, you know, because I'm relying on the juices from the meat and any leftover olive oil, so, you know, you gotta clean the pan afterwards. But if you do it like this, the eggs get really soft. veggies in this, right? And also, if you have room in your calorie budget, you can add cheese to the ground beef right before you take it out, and it'll melt really nice. But, um, yeah, let's, um, eat this heart attack. Mm. Okay. For sauce, you don't need anything fancy, you just need ketchup, right? Ketchup is actually really sweet. this a lot of times. I budgeted for 50 grams of ketchup. Let's see if I could get it without looking. I have this much. Alright, 52 exactly. Not bad. Yep. So you got the spices, the eggs, ideally veggies, um, also cheese if desired, and this. And you have the most delicious meal you can make with the basic ingredients.